Let's talk about yoga. I feel, I, I believe that yoga, physical yoga practice is meant to be a celebration, a celebration of the body, a celebration of life, of how you feel in the world. And an expression of all the things that you can do as a natural human being on this planet. And if that's your experience as you practice, then maybe you don't need to work with me. <laughs> if on the other hand, the body complains when you practice, if it complains about anything at all, then this is your body telling you that you have relationships to the world that are less than optimal, less than in line with your highest self. This, this is my, the conclusion that I've come to after 40 years of practice and teaching is doing yoga postures isn't about knowing where to be strong, where to be tense, where you should feel it and all the rest of it. It's not about having, doing the correct thing to your body. That's not what leads to yoga the experience of yoga. Yoga is an integration between you, your body, and everything around you. So if there's any complication for you, any experienced somatic complication for you in your practice, there is a different way of looking at, or there's a different way of applying yourself to practice that can put the personality aside and get you to tap into the true nature of things. And in my experience is that most people doing yoga are doing it to try and fix something. They're trying to either make themselves stronger or more flexible or trying to rid themselves of some ache or pain or whatever. Right? which is a noble pursuit. You're looking after yourself. But no amount of doing anything to your body will change the source reason for that issue. Complications in your hips, your shoulders, your knees, your ankles, your wrists, your neck, whatever. These complications arise because of the way the whole of you relates to the world. And physical practice can be an exploration of those relationships, as opposed to doing something to your body in order to fix it. So what you need to bring your attention to is how you relate to the support that is offered by the earth beneath you. How you relate in space to the world around you. And through those things, through the breath and its release and your relationships through expression and your personal relationships to the world beneath, around, and around you can lead to a new experience, a new experience that is a relationship between the earth beneath you and the space above you through the breath and its release. When you can find support from everything around you, which you will get from the way you relate to it, not from what you do to your body. 
when you can find, when you can discover and experience support both from the earth beneath you and the space above you through the breath and its release. You can arrive in a direct somatic experience of how those supportive relationships can allow you to release into whatever you wish to do. That is the bottom line. We, we, we culturally, we feel we have to strive, we have to work hard, we have to push ourselves in order to achieve a goal. But the secret truth is that you are designed on a physiological level to be able to let go into uprightness, to let go into movement. And it requires shifting your relationship to the support that is beneath you, the space all around you and above you, through the breath, through the release, and through engagement, through action. And yoga postures give you an opportunity to explore those relationships. So if you want to try working with me, it'll be different. It'll be very, very different. Instructions are not the usual kind of thing. But if you are prepared to put aside what you know, then by following my guidance, you are very likely to have a brand new experience of yourself that hopefully will shine a light on the potential of being on this planet in a joyful and relaxed kind of way. It sounds soft, it sounds easy, it'll be the hardest work you've ever done. <laughs> because the way we normally do things is the kind of cheapest way of doing things. We lift our weight, we drop our weight. Working with the earth and the space around you and above you involves deep engagement from within. And it'll strengthen you in ways you didn't know you didn't know that you needed to be strong. But it will release you of the habitual issues that you experience by working in your habitual fashion. It leads to broader a broader awareness of the connection between yoga practice and personal development. So if any of those things have triggered some kind of curiosity on your part and you want to see what it's all about and whether you can get something from, from the experience, then yeah, come and work with me. I am Mark J. Aquaviva. Um, I'm, uh, I've been practicing and teaching yoga for, well, actively as an adult for uh, uh, 35 years now. Uh, yes, my, my, my mission in life is to bring the nature of yoga to the world. Much love.